This strategy guarantees success in crypto. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Allcoin Chief where we talk about crypto and blockchain. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos as we are in the bull run right now. Today's focus will be on the most important subject in the crypto space and the reason why we're all here and that is how to make money in this space and how to position yourself in order to make money in a guaranteed and stable way. For those of you who are new to crypto and want to buy altcoins or Bitcoin itself, links to exchanges that I'm using personally are linked in the description of this video. So today's focus is on how to make money in crypto. If you've been around this space, you would know that on Twitter or YouTube, you can see people making tremendous amounts of money. But the truth could be a bit different than it seems because everything that people put out on social media is positive. You always have to take that into consideration. Nobody's gonna show you their losses. Everyone's gonna show you their gains. So at some point you might think that everyone's making money apart from you. And that is often the case. And by that, you then jump into projects at high valuations because people talk about them. They, they talk about how much money they make in these assets. And that's where the problem is. So many of the people who are in the space lose money. And to be honest, majority lose money. And in my personal opinion, it's around 90 to 95% of people that join this market do actually lose. So in order to be in that 5%, you need to get your strategies right. And one of those strategies is what we're talking about today. And if you have a look at the market caps and price performance of crypto assets in even the top 100 today, this seems like a perfect day to create this video. So as you can see, we had a pullback on all assets. Obviously we have some exceptions when it comes to seven days, but overall we are in a correction. We crossed the all time high for Bitcoin and then we've been pulled back pretty significantly in the past few days. And we have a market that's pretty much bleeding across the board. So as I said, many people will show you tokens. We'll talk about tokens, altcoins that are in their opinion, great investments. And the reality is that these guys hold these bags from very low points. They might have came across a project at a low valuation. They bought in, they bought in, let's say 10 projects, two of them actually worked out. And now their narrative is to push those tokens as much as possible for people to jump in and increase their profits. So you always have to take that into consideration. Another thing is that when things are actually going up, that's where most attention is. And people will buy tokens when they're actually going up, not down. This is just a mental model of everyone. And this is also one of the reasons why many lose a lot of money is that even though they have discovered a project which is interesting, they won't wait for a pullback like we do have now. Uh, they would actually buy straight away to kind of feed their FOMO. And FOMO is one of the main reasons why people lose money in this space. Uh, and that is something that you need to avoid at all costs. So one big tip that I can give you is that during bull runs that we are in right now, for example, which is what I believe, um, in these bull runs, you will see pullbacks of 20, 30, 40%. And those times will test people's nerves. And during those times, that's the best time to buy. Not when everything's going up in a straight line, not when everyone's talking about something. The actual time to buy and scale in is at those dips. And in previous bull runs in, let's say 2017, when I was around, I was around crypto since beginning of 2017, actually. Uh, so that was a very interesting learning curve for me. And then the last bull run, which we had in 2021, worked in the same, same fashion. As you can see, we did have straight up, but then huge pullbacks. And during those times, that's when people's nerves were tested. And these were great times, great opportunities to load and to actually accumulate tokens that are worth accumulating. So going back to 2017, again, we had 
a run up all the way to 3000 and then drop to 1.9, which is very significant. And then again, 4.8, sharply down to 3.1. And then again, 7.5, drop of 30% to 5.8. And on some exchanges, that was 5.5, uh, I can remember. So the whole idea behind this strategy that I'm talking to you right now about is to wait for dips. And those dips is where you make money. This is the time where you put in some funds into tokens that you believe are here for the next few months and you build a position. Let's say you want to buy in for a thousand dollars. Don't go in straight away, uh, scale in, use those dips wisely, create a good position, and then in a few months start scaling out the same way you were scaling in. And um, this is probably one of the most obvious things, but it's overlooked by, as I said, 90 to 95% of people because people lose a ton of money. They jump in when things are going up, then those dips test their nerves, they lose patience, they sell at dips, and then things go back up, leaving them stranded. So to maximize your potential and to maximize the ability to make money in this space and to have somewhat guaranteed results, dips are the times to buy. Not when things are green, not when everything's going up. The dips that do occur in bull markets very often, that's when people should create positions and actually scale into this market. Another important thing to consider is the fact that um, we were just talking about Bitcoin's pullbacks and those, you know, 20, 30% pullbacks on Bitcoin can lead to some altcoins losing 50, 80%. And unfortunately, these things do happen. So in order to maximize the potential to make money in this space, dips are for buying in bull markets and scaling into positions in a steady way is also the key here. So again, if you want to scale into any of those tokens that we've mentioned, the top 100, most of them are available on exchanges that are linked in the description. These are exchanges that I'm using personally. So I hope you found this video helpful. I will make more videos to cover strategies that are going to help myself, but also some of the guys who listen to these videos to have a bit of an advantage over the majority of people who FOMO in. This is it for today and I will see you in the next one.